So I'm going to be recording a gameplay video later, but I figured out what I wanted to talk about today for an actual vlog, so I'm going to get that out of the way first. I've mentioned my body's damaged goods, but I haven't really talked about the story behind how that happened. The short, short version is that I had cancer three times in a row, and my body just hasn't recovered from that. The slightly longer version starts in 2003. My first cancer started, it didn't stay that way for long, but it started as a small lump in my upper right arm. The first time I went to the hospital because of it, it was hot and inflamed, presumably due to an infection. The doctor had an ultrasound done and said, come back for an MRI if it doesn't get better. It didn't. The inflammation from the actual infection went down, but the lump did not get better. But when I came back for the MRI that the doctor told me to come and get, they rejected me for the service. They would not give me the test the doctor said I should have done, and I knew I should have done. When I came back two months later, because now the lump was as big as the lump and the swelling combined had been when I came in previously, they finally did the fucking MRI. They told me very clearly that it is cancer, but we don't have a pathology lab that can actually identify what kind. The closest one is in San Francisco, which was a six hour drive. I was living in Reno at the time. Never mind that I couldn't work and I would have been homeless and that was not going to happen. They also broke the news to me gently in the, oh, but yeah, you, you might lose your arm. Thanks. That was also the one and only time I had a little bit of an emotional breakdown about cancer. I cried in the shower, in the hospital room for a little while, and then decided that feeling sorry for myself wasn't going to do me any good and it certainly wasn't going to help me get better. So what ended up happening was my mom, who had never flown before, got on a cross-country flight to come see me junior grew visibly in the week she was in Reno with me. That's how aggressively it was growing. We decided that since Maine Medical Center isn't that far from here and they've got a good reputation that I would take my car, put my cat in it and as much of my stuff as we could fit in my car. But we drove the three days back. It took three biopsies to get a good enough sample to actually identify my tumor. Because it was growing so fast, it literally could not sustain itself, so they were getting necrotic dead tissue. Now this first cancer was a little different from the more typical experience, because you're used to seeing the side effects of the disease and the treatment but not the cancer itself, but because I had a tumor in my arm that burst through the skin, it actually stopped hurting when that happened. So they had much more direct access and visualization of it. I was and continue to be very popular with med students because science nerd that I am and having something happen to you really gives you context to remember things like propensities to inversion, but they could come and poke away at it and ask all sorts of questions and I would be able to engage with them meaningfully because I don't check out. I'm a very participatory patient. I absorb the information like a sponge and I'm pretty outspoken and proactive about my own health care. Anyway, the first cancer, the tumor, uh, extra osseous Ewing sarcoma couple of notables about it. It's one of those, we haven't pinpointed the cause, but the source of the mutation is an inversion of the 16th chromosome. Ewing sarcoma is a pediatric bone cancer, more commonly found in little boys. 23 year old biosex female, when I got it. Extra osseous means not in the bone, which is lucky for me and my arm but it's an even rarer presentation of an already rare form of cancer. That's the beginning of a trend. Treatment for that first one was 14 rounds of chemo, 
surgery after that chemo had had a chance to kill and shrink somewhat the tumor. That surgery is why I have a scar from my shoulder to my elbow, permanent nerve damage, and a divot in my arm where the tumor and the third of my tricep that needed to go along with it to get their margins used to be. Then 14 rounds of chemo afterwards to kill any other loose cancerous cells. I did really well with chemo. The only real problem I had was that the prednisone they gave me to help the anti nauseous do their job made me gain quite a lot of weight. We'll get back to that weight because it factors in later. I'm going to make this three parts because there are three bouts with cancer and giving the details for all three and what happened in between would make the video run on longer than I want it to. So I will talk to you about the downtime and cancer number two tomorrow.